I helped the gladden during particularly testing times. Like Roy, it's been my privilege uh, to be one of, one of Ros' assistant cabinet members. Unlike Roy, Ros didn't really know me. Um, I was a brand new councillor and she took that on great faith and invested a lot of time and trouble training me and really um, opening my eyes to what was going on. Um, during this last four years, I've seen significant change in the health economy in the city. The city council is now at the heart of this health economy, thanks mostly to the, well, thanks to the vision of the mayor and the health commission and willingness amongst stakeholders to collaborate rather than compete. This hasn't happened by accident. It's happened as relationships have developed, as trust has built up and consent has reached regarding everybody's goal to improve the health and well-being of our residents. The motion highlights our significant achievements. I'm not going to repeat them. What it doesn't do is highlight the considerable work that's gone on behind the scenes to make this happen. We're a football city. I'm sorry, you're all missing a bit more of it. But without a doubt, Councillor Zadden has well and truly kept her eye on the ball as she's striven to protect our most vulnerable and maximise our limited, our very limited resources. She's had to make many decisions, not always popular, but has stood firmly despite at times facing intense personal criticism. And we have seen the benefits as disabled residents make use of our award-winning facilities. Elderly residents are helped to stay at home where they'd rather be. And perhaps most controversial, our most vulnerable, the city's street drinkers, have been helped to access support and services by the rest centre. These are people that other people cross the road to avoid. To conclude, I support the motion and would like to thank Councillor Gladden for her brave leadership during her time as Cabinet Member and thanks to all our officers and partners who have achieved so much against all the odds. Uh, just before I call the next speaker, can I just say that it is also uh, Councillor Castle's birthday today, so on behalf of the council, can I wish you a very happy birthday? I've got Councillor Kushner, then Councillor Franco, then Councillor Cummins. Okay. Um, just very briefly, my Lord Mayor, I'm start seconding this motion because I think you know, people you know, ask all of us uh, politely, politely, why we're doing what we're doing as councillors at a time when we're facing such terrible cuts and having to, to actually implement them. We've done it again tonight, you know, in the decision that we made over the budget. <coughs> feel as though it was a bigger, a bigger moment as it actually was, because obviously these things will, will have an impact. And for me, I think that there are so many traditions in local government, uh, and particularly of this city, that it's really important for us to maintain. You know, Dr. Duncan and the impact that had in terms of health development, housing <coughs> developments, uh, and, other, and other initiatives that are now recognised, even the child benefit family allowance that started from this city with uh, Ellen Rappler. But these, these, are all, these are all traditions and, and part of things that we accept as part of the infrastructure of our country that it's beholden upon us to maintain because at one point, at some point in the future, times will change as local government is valued as it once was. And I think no more um, can you, you can't look at that in any more than, than in terms of what Ross Gladden has done in doing exactly that. And I think that the relationship you can't underestimate in terms of establishing a joint commissioning in the city with the CCG is a real achievement. And that's a platform for going forward, as are all the, the investment in the developments that we've been mentioned already with the Lyme Centre, uh, Crown, the Crown Centre, Granby. Uh, and the Sedgemoor Centre, which are fantastic. The ones, the, these, are, these are things that we can build on uh, going forward in the city. And I think that uh, it's great, uh, as testament to you, uh, Ros, that what you have done in the spirit of local government, and particularly local government in the city, is maintained that sense of innovation and those things that are important to us in local government in what we do and as a platform going forward. So I have no hesitation to second the motion on that basis.